pop selling Hampshire boy there uh, for 60000 as his son. And he is standing here at Gold Rush. And you'll see him at the end of the day. So we're starting the day off with Outlaw. And we'll be finishing it with his son as well as some other sons uh, blended in through here. Uh, the thing about Outlaw, he come from the Steve Harvey family. And, and uh, uh, there's a, I think there's an old guy in the back. Is Billy Stanley in the back, back in there anywhere? Yeah, there he is. Uh, you know, I owe a lot of thanks to Billy for uh, uh, helping me find this uh, guy right here. And, and, and Billy's uh, been a good friend to our family here. And, and, and uh, a guy knows hogs extremely well. And, and I don't know if Outlaw would have been here if it wasn't uh, uh, for him helping me locate this guy. But Outlaw, simply, guys, just to break it down, um, you know, the one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to get my boars fat so that they look good. Uh, we're going to keep them in condition. Uh, I made that mistake several years ago, and I lost a great boar because I had him too heavy, uh, the boar called Big Buck. And after I lost Big Buck, uh, I decided that uh, we're, gonna, we're in the business of producing semen. Uh, when they're young, they can look good. Uh, after that, we need to keep them thin. We need to keep them so that they give good semen quality and we have longevity. Uh, the thing about Outlaw, um, uh, guys, uh, is he the thickest, stoutest, heaviest muscled boar in the breed? No, he's not. Is he a boar that keeps them sound? Is he a boar that keeps them practical? Puts a good look to them? Puts enough muscle up high? I don't know if there's another boar out there that's doing it as good as he is. The other thing about this guy, the problem we got in this breed is getting a lot of good quality belts. And this guy has done an excellent job. No boar is going to be 100%. But this guy right here, definitely the belts on him, the underlines on him, of all the sizes on the gilts have been extremely well. I could talk about this guy all day long, uh, but, uh, you know, he is uh, uh, kind of an icon here. This guy is going to uh, definitely go down as one of the great boars that's ever stood here at Gold Rush. And uh, the sun's coming out of him. Uh, never have we dropped three sons of a boar year one uh, back into the stud. Uh, this guy's libido is good. Uh, and, um, you know, um, uh, guys, if you're wanting Hampshire hogs that are sound, functional, practical, uh, you know, Outlaw's definitely a boar that you would, uh, you'd want to put on your short list. So, Mitch, you can drop him on out right there. Uh, if you are interested in Outlaw, uh, guys and, and, and gals, uh, uh, you know, you're going to want to get on, um, uh, get him on your list pretty early. Um, he is booked up uh, uh, hard, but there is open dates on him. Uh, so just check with the girls, and, uh, and we can take her from there.